watch Adjimandreti. Tribute by the wife, Nana Kanedu Adjiman Rawlings. It starts off with a poem. We started on the journey with wonder at the world. We skipped along with heads held high. Our flag of hope unfurled. Enthusiasm filled our days. As optimism grew, we had so many plans and dreams. Did some of them come true? But then our path grew steep and rough, and clouds obscured the sun. As problems raised their worried heads, we lost our sense of fun. But love was there through troubled times to ease the hurt away. With caring hands and gentle touch, it helped us through each day. So as the road goes winding on, step bravely mile by mile. Through sun and showers, hope and joy, the journey is worthwhile by Iris Heseldon. You expected me to prove my worth by refusing to help my organization financially and challenging me flatly to raise my own funds if I felt the cause was important enough. Today, I appreciate and understand the importance of separating my NGO women's movement work from government business. I went all around the world boldly fundraising and shamelessly negotiating in different sectors for opportunities for our women and children in Ghana. Jerry, I know that God created us for each other. And today we make a formidable team, notwithstanding the ups and downs of life. We believed in each other and in our dream of making Ghana a country we could all be proud of. One, to set the pace for our sub-region and continent. I dare say we did not do a bad job. As you worked assiduously on state matters, I concentrated on empowering the women and improving the quality of life for them. Irrespective of their origins or creed, we were a team fighting to transform a collapsed state into one of potential prosperity for all. You did your best, and I played my part in my own way. You always said you did not need titles to define you, so you remained Flight Lieutenant Jerry John Bollings. You also said you did not need political titles to influence a party to do what is right and honest for Ghana. So for most, you remained Chairman. To me, then for me, I say farewell with the words of Rachel Wallace. This is an indication of why um, the cafe, almost all state facilities should be disability friendly. Mm -hmm. Because right. if it is not disability friendly, now a former president who cannot have the luxury of walking as he used to walk, now using um, a wheelchair, whether mechanized or manual, whatever, and the fact is that he's using a wheelchair. If he's using a wheelchair and there is no access for this wheelchair, how can he come in and do this that the whole country he decided to do? So it looks as if, as a people, we are not only supposed to make sure that the Accra International Conference Centre is disability friendly, but every state facility is supposed to accommodate persons with disabilities. Amen. It is very clear that not all the facilities we have in this country can could have been used for this mm. activity. Not all the facilities in this country could have been used for this. Correct. So those who I think those who really selected the Accra International Conference Centre looked at this. Looked, looked at this. If this has been, if we had sent this to Parliament House, so the great. 
I don't, I don't see any ramps there. So, yeah. And the gradient in front of the parliament house, you can't, you yeah. can't use a wheelchair. Yeah. Because if not so, it means that it had to be manual. Somebody had to push it and hold it. Yeah. As the way we see our, our brothers and sisters, uh, 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 disabled brothers and sisters, people hold them. Sometimes they even carry their wheelchairs over a flight of stairs before they drop the wheelchair and then you access the, the flat space. So President Kufour has finished paying his respects and he's exiting the Accra International Conference Center. Appointed under Rawlings PNDC as a local government secretary. Exactly. Yes. Local so, government secretary. So he's come to pay respect to, to a, a former boss. Uh, yeah, and a, and a colleague president. president. Former president, yeah. Mm -hmm. And this is how. And the man from whom he, he took over in 2001. Is that him? Uh, president came with a wife, vice president came with a wife, but former president is supposed to have come with Teresa, but I think because of age or other disease uh, health conditions, so Madame Teresa is not with former president.